One of the benefits of a product like the Brain software is that it doesn't force you into any particular structure. One of the problems with attempting to build a monolithic repository is that it is difficult to do without some level of structure. Having struggled to build my monolithic repository in the Brain software since 2017, it's just in the past few months that I think I might have combined enough systems to create a solution that works for me. Hopefully in sharing the structure I use, others can also take something away. In this week's episode, the only prerequisites are to have the Brain software, version 12 or later. I'm using version 13, so you may see something a little different if you're not using version 13. A home thought is important in the Brain software. Though the search feature for the Brain is a crucial feature I rely upon daily, there are times when I want to traverse my thought tree manually. The Wander feature is a great example of this, so I always start with a home thought. In my personal repository, I use Intersect from the old TV show Chuck. In this training repository, I use a thought called PKM. If you use a topic-based repository, the home thought would probably be named the same as the repository. After ensuring you have a home thought, I add what I call Para Plus. Tiago Forte has some great articles and even a book that includes his Para method. The basics are to have four folders or primary thoughts. These are projects, areas, resources, and archive. To these four I've also added random and unsorted, and you'll notice above there is a me, my name is a person thought type, above the home thought. Now in my training brain, I just use me, you should replace this with your own name. Again, I recommend getting an in-depth review of Para from one of Tiago's media sources, but I will give you my interpretation as we go along. First, I must mention that I handle each section either as a getting things done, GTD, or Zettelkasten, more on that later. Probably the most self-explanatory section is the project sections. Here you can see I have created child thought types for all the different project types that I manage. Each project is then managed using a GTD principle such as the natural planning model. Areas. Areas are where I put business related items that are not projects such as skills and my space repetition based reviews, daily, weekly, monthly, etc. As my Zettelkasten skills improve, I expect to use this region of my brain significantly better. Resources. After projects, this is my most active area. This is where I store anything that is not a project or temporarily residing in random and unsorted. Much of this video will be about how this section is organized. In my training brain, I added company and books and reading material to resources. That is because I use those resources most often in my daily life. You may have your unique thoughts that will enhance your use of the brain software as well. I say use them. I should mention that this section uses GTD methods for meetings with companies and Zettelkasten techniques for everything else. More on that later. Archives. I only keep old projects here, so it's an archive of GTD-based projects. In my training brain, I don't have anything archived yet. Random and unsorted. This is my personal edition, and it acts like a GTD-style inbox. I've pinned this thought for super fast access. This is where I put things I don't know where to connect yet. Random and unsorted allows me to move fast while reducing stress. Have a quick note, yet no time to store it? Drag down from the pin thought and add it. As I perform a weekly and monthly review, I know I will review the random and unsorted thought frequently. This means my brain does not feel I have an open loop when I put something in random and unsorted. It trusts that I will return to it and put it in the correct spot. Back to resources. One of the things I struggled with for a long time was how to structure my permanent or evergreen thoughts. Finally, thanks to Brian Jenks and his four hour long Obsidian Zettelkasten second brain video, I learned about the Wikipedia outline of academic disciplines page. Finally, rather than slowly making my own structure, which felt like trying to reinvent the wheel, I could borrow as much of somebody else's structure as I needed. I cannot stress enough that I stopped at copying the first five root disciplines. That is, humanities, 
social science, natural science, formal science, and applied science. Frankly, this was mainly to remind me of the academic outline itself. I only added child disciplines for the thoughts I needed to store for the thoughts I'd already gathered. Let's look at a real example. If we move over to random and unsorted, we can see that in 2008, I came across an odd piece of information. A second is the second 60th division of an hour. I was fascinated by this clearly obvious piece of knowledge. A minute is the primary 60th division of an hour, with the second 60th division now being referred to only as a second. Clearly, this is a bit of trivia I need to add to my monolithic repository. But where to add it? In 2018, I had no idea where to store this bit of information in my self-directed architecture. So it became a child of random and unsorted for four years, digging at me with every weekly review. Now knowing about the outline of academic disciplines, we can find a permanent home for this fact. After searching, I finally found the Wikipedia article, Time in Physics. Good enough, time belongs under physics. If we look back at the outline of academic disciplines, physics falls under natural science. So all I have to do is create a time parent to which I can attach the Wikipedia Time and Physics article and a physics thought to connect between time and natural science. Now that I have stored this thought properly, I can go ahead and remove it from random and unsorted. GTD versus Zettelkasten. Getting Things Done, GTD, by David Allen, is known to practically every practitioner of productivity. I have no different. I first read GTD in the early 2000s and have used the principles in the book with ever increasing frequency. But I do not see the GTD concepts as pass or fail. It is a set of tools that you should pick and choose from, leave out the things that just don't fit for you, or better yet, modify the tools and processes to fit the need today. That means you may pick up an old process you dropped, modify a process that's not quite working, or abandon a process that no longer provides value. This open-minded and routine reflection process allowed me to get interested in some of the methods in Zettelkasten. I have only been researching and testing Zettelkasten for three or four months. It seems to be much better suited for gathering information as I would like to store in the resources and areas thoughts. Things such as atomic facts, theories, and data that I can string together to gain deeper understanding, create better solutions, and make better decisions. Returning to Tiago Forte, this sounds a lot like his CODE code, capture, organize, distill, and express technique. The use of atomic notes, evergreen notes, literature notes, and the like feels like it's the missing piece for my knowledge repository. As I started the final revisions to the script, I noticed that the Brain Technologies put out a video yesterday with Omar Aziz. I will link it in the description. Maybe this is just the hundredth monkey effect. This is an excellent adjunct to this video. You'll notice that Omer uses the Brain software in a more classic fashion with heavy use on thought names and the Plex rather than a heavy use on the notes pane. Omar is significantly ahead of me in his Zettelkasten journey, so I gained further clarity on how I will use the atomic note concept going forward. Thank you for joining me for the fifth episode of Uzirix. Please like and subscribe, and if you know anybody else using the brain, please feel free to share. If you'd like to learn more, in the description, you will find links to the Training Brain, Discord, Reddit, and my Twitter account. Until next week.